Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Terry, and on this channel, I focus on fragrances, of course. And if you are returning, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all. And today, guys, I have a haul. I have a haul. I have a, I have a, I have a haul. Y'all, this is the last two to three months, okay? This is not all at once. All right, I have to say that because some of y'all be like, how in the hell somebody buying 40 to 30 to 50? Not me now. Fragrances at one time. Ain't doing it. <laughs> Ain't doing it. All right, guys, so this is over two to three months. Still too many. I'm not gonna lie, still too many. But it is what it is, okay? All right, guys, so I got a few fragrances. Well, two fragrances, actually, from Marshalls before the whole shutdown. And then I ordered a couple of things from Victoria's Secrets as well as Fragrance Net. So I'm going to jump right on in. Some of these are repurchases, and some of these were new to me when I first got them. So anyhow, but I've smelled them all, so nothing is, like, new to me in that aspect. It's not like a blind by haul where I don't know where any of these smell like, because I do. All right, guys. So, to get things kicked off, I think I'm going to start with the Marshalls um, fragrances because, you know, they were the first ones I got. All right, guys. So, this is Laura Mercier. This is the Ambre Vanille. I hope you guys can see it. Um, this actually only costs $12.99 if you guys can see it. And I was shocked when I seen this in Marshalls. I was like, I, I be seeing folks talk about that. I don't want to try some Laura Mercier stuff. And I got an opportunity, guys, and I actually love it. This is what the bottle looks like, and it smells so good. Y'all, I don't know what it is, but when I first smell, like, when I first sniff it, I, I instantly get, like, desserts, like a deep, rich dessert. I don't know what it is. I smell cinnamon. I don't know. It's like I smell cinnamon cookies, vanilla cookies. Mm. But it's basically amber and vanilla. And I think it's some woody notes in here. Mm. It smells good. It's long lasting. I wore it a couple of times to work. And I love it. Not my hospital. Not when I'm working at the hospital. Okay, not that job. Because that is too much. <laughs> but I wore this when I was teaching. And I love it. Good scent if you have not tried it. If you can find, if you can look up and find this in your Marshalls. Guys, snatch it up quick. I'm serious. It's so worth it. And it's so sweet. So sweet. If you like Gourmand Scent, snatch it up. All right. And the other one that I got from Marshalls was the Zara Bright Rose. And guys, if you've ever smelled Sarah Jessica Parker's Lovely or the Narciso Rodriguez um, for her, this is, it smells just like it. Like when you spray it, great sprayer. When you spray it, you get the rose. It's another flower I'm smelling too. But you get the rose and you get some cedar notes. Mm, it smells good. It's pretty, la like, as far as long lasting, maybe both of them, maybe four to six hours. I think the, the um, Laura Mercier goes a little longer, but this one maybe four to six hours. But it does the job for what you want it for. And I think I paid 10 or less for this. I can't be sure. But I don't think I paid over 10. This smells good. Okay. Alrighty. And now to move on. So I'm going to do my Victoria's Secrets online. Okay. I will do them next. I have what we, the Victoria's Secrets Tease Glam. And I've, that's what it looks like. And this one to me is just fruit. Oh, it smells good. Mmm. It's really fruity. It's really like I get like raspberry, mandarin, vanilla. You know, all Victoria's Secret scents have the same vibe to me. You're getting sweet, fruity, and a little floral. I haven't worn this one out. Not yet. I haven't worn this one yet. Um, but from the Smell of things is just a fruity floral. It kind of gives me coconut vibes too. I kind of get some coconut vibes with this one. I may be wrong, but it's definitely fruity. All right, another one that I got from Victoria's Secret is called the Tease Dreamer. 
All right, and I took out everything out the box because I didn't want to be like struggling trying to take the stuff out because I hadn't fooled with the Victoria's Secret since. I've worn this before in um, I think a travel spray or roll off. But this smells so good. To me, this smells like I wanted this last year, the big bottle. Because to me, it reminded me of, I don't know why it reminds me of Eau de Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford mixed with Skittles. <laughs> mixed with Skittles. It's it's pretty. It's pretty. Long lasting. I'm not sure about any of that, but it's it just gives me vacation vibes. It gives me like I'm going to the beaches. I'm going to something outdoorsy, like a little tropical bonfire outside. I don't know. Something where you're doing, you have the little lay on, and you have your little hula skirts, and you just, you're just smelling good, but you, you know, you're just out having fun. I don't know. Sure, it smells good, though. All right, and the last one from Victoria's Secret is this bombshell intense all right guys i don't know if i've ever spoken about this before or not but bombshell the original bombshell by victoria's secrets is one of my favorites i love that's my absolute favorite scent from um victoria's secret this one here mm, it's supposed to be the more intense sexier more seductive version and i see where they were going with it because you get cherry i smell the cherry and the vanilla it's another, hold on. Something else sweet in here, but this is cherry and vanilla, like a cherry vanilla pie. You kind of get the bombshell, the original DNA somewhere in the background, but it just, you know, added those vanilla notes on top. Pretty good. It's not touching the original. <laughs> Let me make that clear. It's not touching the original. Okay, guys, so... I think that was it for those. I'm going to go into my fragrance net. Sprays. Okay. And the first one that I'm going to talk about is my favorite celebrity scent as of yet. And it is the VIP Private Show by Britney Spears. This is what the back looks like. Or I don't know if it's the front back. But this smells so good. Y'all. And I'm going to show you what the bottle looks like. Because I already have the bottle. Here we go. And this is what it looks like. This smells good. This is fruits. Mm. Yeah, I smell like cherry and raspberry and strawberry and mandarin and vanilla. But then I smell some witty notes in here as well. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. It's so long lasting. It's this to me, like when you just want to get dressed and feel cute and you just go to the mall before all this foolishness, you know, and you want to go to the mall and just throw on something cute. This is nice. I actually wear this to bed a lot as well. And it's just beautiful. And when I wake up, I smell it. It's just as prominent as when I first sprayed it. It's so pretty, y'all. I love this scent. All right. And another one that I got, um, I took it out the box, but this is what, where is the box? It's somewhere over here. I don't know. Oh, here it is. <laughs> on the floor, I put it on the floor, but this is the Always Red Film. Y'all, excuse my nails, they are so horrible. Film, and this is what the bottle looks like. This is by Elizabeth Arden again, and this smells good. This is a repurchase for me. Mm, it smells really good, guys. This is fruity and vanilla. <laughs> fruity and vanilla is just a thing. And I smell some woods in here. Something. Patchouli. I don't know. It's good. This is an easygoing scent. I love the original Always Red. To me, that one reminds me of the Giorgio Armani C. This one is just a more... I guess, I don't want to say heavier, but this is definitely feminine, like a beautiful feminine scent. Mm. 
it's a little darker, of course. It's a little darker than the original, and it's just a little bit more based heavily in the patchouli, I think. I may be wrong, but it is heavier. All right, so another one that I got from Fragrance Next. And I think that might have been the Always Red film. Might have been 25, maybe, something like that. All right, now this is the Olympian Intense. And y'all, I spoke about this before as well. This is like a sexy nighttime scent to me. I don't like it as much as the original Olympia because the other one, the original is more, I guess, easy daily wear and I can get away with it in the daytime. Whereas this one is just strictly for me. It's for nights. For me. It's sexier, but look at the bottle. You can tell the juice, the juice lets you know it's about business. Like rock this at night when you want to be seductive, when you want to be sexy, when you want your fragrance to last. Because you get the vanilla, you get the um, patchouli, you get the salt. It's almost like caramel. It's good. It's good. I really enjoyed it. I think this was maybe 40 something, 50, somewhere like that. 50, maybe 50 on Fragrance Net. And another one from Fragrance Net is, this is the Ammo Flowerful by Sarotaro Ferragama. If you can see it, I'm sorry if you can't because it might be a little glare. This is beautiful. Yeah, I had the original Amo or Amo or whatever you pronounce it, however. And I bought it in a set in a 3.4. It came with the travel spray and the lotion. Now, I kept the travel spray and the lotion. I ended up selling the other one because I was like it smells good but it kind of reminds me of other things I don't know what it reminded me of but it kind of did so I end up buying this here to try out and I like it better anyway so it's like fruity it's like yuzu and some mango or something I don't know it's almost like you took the original Amo and you added bright crystal and it merged this is sweet and fruity it's just a fruity floral with a little little bit of woody notes in it. I just picture a beautiful lady with a flowy maxi dress just out and about with her bag under her arm, her little <laughs> clutch. And she's just out and about having a good old time with her friends shopping. They go out that they're going to eat somewhere. This is a day date, like just a beautiful day. I love it. It's really pretty to me. Okay. And the last one, I think, the last one that I have here from Fragrance Neck is one that I actually just bought as well. Let me get it right. This is it. This is the Nina Ricci Leatas Lattes, I believe. Rose Absolute. I hope you can see it. Um, This is the 2.7 ounce. Yeah, I spoke about this before. If you watch, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, go watch some of those. But this one here, I talked about it was like a do, like the the baccarat rouge, um, and other dupes. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna say dupes, more affordable options is what I think I called it. But this one here, I'm gonna try to let me get these prints out as much as I can. But look at the bottle, look at the bottle. Y'all, this bottle, first of all, is so beautiful and just classy to me. It's just something about it. And it has like the trim of the gold going around with the little details. Isn't that beautiful? Let me get the top. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Okay, guys. So, this black and gold bottle is fancy. And it's a fancy scent to me. This is like Ooh, Satin Mood, which they are both created by Francis um, Kerjan. Mm. This is off top, you get spicy rose, and it's like that rose is mixing in with that pink and black pepper, and then it's sitting on a base of just vanilla and patchouli. Mm. The only difference, the differences between this one and the other one to me is this one is a little bit more linear, whereas the Usat Mood, it does develop more. Now, when you first spray this to me, it's sweeter, and then the dry down is sweeter. I almost give you a, it almost gives me the, like this bubblegum note when it dries down with the rose whereas the ooh sad mood turns more powdery to me and it's a little bit more spicier and I think the other one is based in ooh this one isn't so that's the difference to me but it is so beautiful 
and it should be way more expensive than it is i mean based off the smell if you want a more toned down sweeter version of the usain mood they're almost identical except like i said the usain mood turns a little bit more powdery to me but when you spray them on side by side it's like they're sisters or something <laughs> they're not twins but they are sisters okay and the last one that i have i think came from bloomingdale's i don't know if i've spoken about this before or not if i have forgive me but um this was in one of my orders i don't know if i put it in my last haul or not but if i have like i said forgive me this is bronze goddess azure this is what it looks like oh gosh this is beautiful this is tom ford this was in my dupes video that's what it was it was in my dupes video this smells just like to me tom ford or they sold it blanc and then at the same time <laughs> it kind of reminds me of neroli portofino maybe they're mixed i don't know but this is so beautiful this is like summertime in a bottle y'all look at that this is not even expensive this was like 65 bucks on bloomingdale's it smells like lemon and just citrusy um maybe lemon and maybe some mandarin definitely like the neroli mm. here's some vanilla vanilla <laughs> vanilla and coconut milk this is absolutely beautiful guys the longevity may be six hours but when you want to smell fresh clean like a sandy beach vacation with the warm sands on your feet and under your toes and the smell of the air just breezing through coconut drink mm. this is the one i'm telling you it's beautiful try this if you have not tried this one it's easily accessible at the um and it's not expensive like i said 65 bucks it's pretty good so go on like your Bloomingdale's and things of that nature. You can definitely find this online. Okay, guys, I think that is all that I have. Um, I'm trying to behave, y'all, on these hauls, but I'm not gonna even lie. I have like a few more, a few more lined up because y'all, I don't know what it is that when I got this quarantine because usually, yeah, I was working two jobs, and I was working Monday through Friday and then Saturday and Sunday. Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sunday, Monday through Friday, I'm in the classroom teaching, Saturday and Sundays, I'm in the hospital nursing, so this quarantine kind of just like slowed me down a whole lot, I have a whole lot more time on my hands, and with time on my hands, <laughs> I'm bored, <laughs> and I already did a lot of perfume shopping, but now it's just ridiculous, so <clears throat> I'm trying to behave, but I, I I can't I just can't make any promises right now. So in the meantime, y'all just be looking out for that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, guys. Give me two thumbs up. <laughs> also, if you did not, please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see other videos like this. Um, because I focus on fragrance, I've told you that before. Also, um, make sure you hit that notification bell. So that you don't miss any uploads from me in the future. And please leave me some comments. Anything that you want me to see. Um, anything that you want to talk about, honey. Just leave it in the comments. I will get back with you. I love talking with y'all. Okay. Also on Instagram, you can find me. Taylor May underscore 16. And perfume underscore lover 80. I think. You'll find me though. I have it linked somewhere down here below. Also, guys, I thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until the next time, y'all take care, guys. Mwah. Love you all. Bye bye.